All right, what is up, YouTube? I'm gonna make this as quickly as possible because my voice cuts out a lot. I'm gonna show you how to um, get to your first chalice dungeon and how they work. Now, don't worry if my voice cuts off or something. The description is going to be very long. Um, but let's get this started. First things first, I'm gonna show you where to um, get your chalice at. In order to get your first chalice, you need to beat this one really annoying tool of a boss called the the Blood Starved Demon. No, Blood Starved Beast. This demon is ex this beast is extremely annoying, but there is a very easy tactic to beat it. I recommend 10 antidotes and about 15 to 16 health vials. All right, when the fight starts off, you're gonna spawn down here. He's gonna spawn right there, and he's gonna run at you. Run at him, he's going to do an attack where he lifts his left arm and he's going to try to swipe you. Dodge to the side, he should be stunned, hit him twice, back up twice, and then rinse and repeat. He's going to get faster and faster as this thing goes on, but you still should be able to bait that attack. Keep antidote on you at all times. This dude remotely tickles you, it's over. You need antidote right away. Once you beat him, you should get a chalice. If not, it's going to be right over here. Again, chalice will be right over here. Chalice is right over here. What's up, handsomes? Yeah. And, um, just in case you need to know, there is some antidote. Next thing is where to get the, um, ritual blood. Which is the second thing. You need three things in order to do chalice dungeon. The chalice, the ritual blood, and souls. Echoes. Whatever the hell you want to call them. Here, I'll show you what to do. I'm enjoying this game. I'll do a guide on bosses if you because I've I found out a few good strats after hitting my face against them a few times. Also, the Blood Star Demon you can parry. And there's just one special attack that I like to parry. Get ready. Jump scare. Get ready. <laughs> Bitch. Okay. Murder the wary wolf. No, you don't. Okay, look at this bloodstone shard. Check this out. Check this out. Your boy has 58 of them. Okay, see, look at this. Using holy chalice, holy chalice, holy chalice, holy chalice. You get all of this inside chalices. Inside chalices, inside the ritual things that I'm going to show you. That's the weapon I use. I got two chalices. Oops. Yeah, um, this is my stats. Alright. Now, um. Dude. Peace. Just trying to bait this dude over here. Sorry if I'm being quiet. Just All right. Now these dudes are gonna rush you. See. You punk. My bitch, what you doing? Okay, I'm a parry. You. Oh man. Yeah, yeah. Rip in peace. All right. In order to get the second thing, which is I'm gonna show you right now. In order to get ritual blood, your first one will be right up here. I'm going a different way because it's faster. But, um, I'm gonna show you what room you'll be in. Because you will go through this way no matter what. Don't worry about it. Don't ever think about it. You just... See that werewolf just chilling up there? You will come into this room with that scary-ass thing hanging on the wall, which I thought was a boss. 
Shut up, shut up, shut up. Oh, missed. I need to run. Okay. Now I may die here. Bear heads up. Bear heads up. When they have red eyes, you don't play with them. They get the ability to poison you once they have red eyes. So it's smart to kill them right away. Nope. Nope. None of it. Ow. Blood vial. No blood vials. I like this weapon. Alright. The ritual blood is right here. Right here is ritual blood. Say it one more time with me. Right here is the ritual blood. Right here. Right here. Right here. Ritual blood, alright? Got it. Cool. Now, we're gonna go back. Because once you have all that, you can go to your first chalice dungeon. With a thousand souls, which you can easily get from murdering werewolves. Just kill two of them, and you have, what, 1900, I think. And then that should be enough. You need um a thousand in order to get into a chalice dungeon. Then blah 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 blah. I do not say blah 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 blah. E.T. Phone home. The only downside to this game is are these loading screens. But yes, don't worry if I cut out too much. If I um if you don't understand it correctly, if you even need tips on how to beat some of the bosses in this area. I will put it all in the description. So please read the description. Chalice dungeon levels. You can remove the chalice. Don't. Do not. Now I gotta explain a few more things to you. Sorry, I don't really have much to say. I need to work on that. But, yeah. Not really much to talk about. One of the last days of spring break, which is kind of sad. My last spring break of my high school. Alright. This is the first place you can start off. And you're going to want to run through here. Just bolt right through here. When you come in here, that gate will be closed and it will have purple lights. Purple lights are your instruction on saying, hey, this is where you go. Go that way, fight a mini boss, not a mini boss, but this fat dude, pull a lever, go fight boss. Rinse and repeat every single day. These levels look extremely good, by the way. So enjoy them. boss in here he starts up excuse you he starts off with a jump attack roll this way hit the right arm that's all you got to do and he does a four hit combo at first lock onto him dodge it his fourth attack is going to be with his right arm leaving him open one two gone if you don't feel comfortable make your weapon extended then work on that but be let's be safe you know the longer attacks take longer to recover and then yeah then you can have fun with the rest of the bosses. Try them out. If you couldn't beat them, I do have a detailed way on how to beat them in the description. Yeah, I hope you really enjoyed this. I'm still working on one of the bosses right now, but until then, I will see you guys later. If you want to add me, my name is Amy Brown 38 or 36, one of those. I forgot. But hey, let me show you one more thing. By doing Chalice Dungeons, you unlock special things. Like, I believe, don't hold me accountable to it, I believe you can buy Ritual Blood now. Which I'm gonna buy one of those. Buy two of those. Because I can. And, um. Uh, I wanna buy that. I keep forgetting about that. But, you unlock this armor. Which isn't that good, but. 
I want the rifle. Can I use the rifle? I can't. Alright. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed, and I will see you out there, hunters. That was really, really cheesy, but you know what I mean. Later, guys.